Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about doing some uh, 3D printed mods to the tarantula. So, I, I tell you, since building the tarantula, that has been one excellent printer. So, one of my favorite kits to build. Even though it's all got its, all its warts and everything else, I had a lot of fun with that guy. So, uh, I'm rearranging the shop getting more 3D printers in so I need to kind of compact the tarantula a little bit. So what I did is I went out to Thingiverse and picked up a couple parts and I want to share those parts with you and I'll share the modifications with you too. So one of the first pieces I wanted to do was add a spool holder to it because of the spool holder and I've actually did a couple builds uh, of spool holders for the tarantula that sit off to the side. I wanted something that bolted to it but I didn't want to go on top adding that weight to cause it to sway. So I found this. So it took me a little bit of looking on Thingiverse because there's a number of spool holders out there for the tarantula. So this one had pretty good reviews. And again, I'll have links to all this down below. So if you're interested in it, you can just look down there. Uh, but this one seems to be pretty sturdy. So um, I printed it 50% infill and uh, out of PLA. And it looks like it's pretty sturdy. So again, it's going to mount with... Uh, uh, three bolts to the, the maker rail and again I'll show that in a little bit more. The other piece I want to do is move the control panel to the top so I printed out these two guys and again they snap on you can kind of see how they snap on. They've also got bolt holes here for an M3 uh, to go across to, to tighten them on so it looks pretty interesting. So anyways I tell you what let's go over to the tarantula take a look at that and install these and see how it all works out. So over to the tarantula Okay, so here we are at the tarantula. So one of the things on my tarantula, I've got the dual Z motor, so I've ran this cable across here for the other Z motor. So I'm going to have to change some of this because what happens is this actually clips to the top here and you see we have this in the way. So I have to do some adjusting there. The other piece I'm going to have to do is pull the extruder up uh, and place it higher here uh, because in the past what I did is, uh, and again I've done videos on this, is I've got this spool holder that this sits on and this would feed directly up into here. So now what I'm going to have to do is pull this up and so what's going to happen is it's going to sit out here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll kind of fast forward through, do some of this stuff and you guys can see what it all looks like. So let's get into this. Okay, so we've installed the control module up here at the top in one of the pieces because I do have the dual Z axis um, I, I couldn't get enough spread here because of these mounts are in the way so what I did is I simply drilled a hole closer and I'll do some overlays probably up over there up over there um, or maybe down there uh, to move this this hole up so I used these four holes rather than these outer four holes and I just put some um, nylon bolts in here for aesthetics and then I took some uh, M3s down here and stuck them through to mount this on here so this is rather sturdy. Uh, the reason it moves a little bit here is because I haven't leveled it for this new table that it's on so but uh, I'll do that in the end. Also in the end I will do up all the cables at once so you'll see how I've run these because what I'm going to do is actually run these across through here but I'm going to have to bring these up through here first so uh, but I want to move the extruder up and uh, do the uh, mounting of that. And to do that, it's going to be a little bit of work because I'm going to have to kind of take some of these parts uh, uh, off around here. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let's jump in and do the extruder.
Okay, welcome back. So we've got it all completed. Uh, went together pretty good. One of the things you might notice is when I was putting the spool holder on, I took this top piece off. Um, when I started the project, I thought I had some of the insertable uh, T-nuts. And when I went to put it on, I discovered I didn't, but I did. But kind of long story short, I had to use regular T-nuts on this side to be able to slide them down behind all this. So I had to reroute all this wiring anyway, so I decided to remove the top. So that's, that's why I did uh, that. It wasn't my initial intention. However, the spool holder is actually working great. Now, I did have to bring it up. You might have noticed in the time lapse a little bit off the bottom. So it does, so the spool doesn't hit the case. And so I just clear the case down here at the bottom. And it gives a nice uh, angle, <coughs> excuse me, into the extruder. I also used some 50 millimeters uh, bolts in here. No, it might be 25, sorry, or 25 or 50, I can't remember. But anyways, they come out the back a little bit, but uh, this is solidly mounted on here now. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier on, because I've got the dual Z-axis, I couldn't push this over enough. So the room here I only had was from here to here, from these sides. And so I just drilled new holes in this and it worked perfect and removed the back. So this is great. To clean up some of this cabling, I just used some Kapton tape. Uh, makes it look kind of cool like this. And then reworked some of the uh, uh, conduit cover here and here. Uh, so all in all, it came out pretty good. So I'm very happy with uh, how compact this uh, printer now is. It's, it's basically all self-contained. The spools uh, connected to it. I've leveled out the feed for this table. The controller is up here. We can easily see it with no glare, even with the fluorescent lights above it. So it, I think this project came out good. So again, uh, very pleased with these. So if you do do this mod, um, you know, just be forewarned, if you're running the dual Zs like me, um, it won't fit into these. You have to use these, but just drill, you know, some holes. You see me mark it off with tape. Pretty easy to do. Again, I'm really happy so far with this spool holder. Uh, again, it's a pretty snug fit over here, but it does fit. And, um, you know, this is a full-size spool, so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good with that, uh, how it all's come together. So, anyways, this tarantula now has some bite to it, so uh, big thumbs up. Don't forget the swag shop up there. If you got a tarantula, I highly recommend these mods. I'll have links down below uh, to Thingiverse. And, hey, give it a big thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.